So this video starts out with clips from February of 2018, which it is now March 2019, so over a year ago. Um, I went to check out the VR4 3000 GT that I'm sitting in right now. Um, so obviously I did end up buying it, but these clips are, like I said, from over a year ago. That was when I first went and looked at it. I just wanted to kind of clarify the situation since it might get a little confusing since the whole process of me first checking it out and actually buying it spanned over a year. So just to kind of clarify what's going on. So that's what you're going to watch right now. And uh, we'll check back in after you see the first clips. All right, so I already own a 3000 GT, but it is the base model, front wheel drive, non-turbo. And I've had it since I was 16, so naturally I've always wanted the VR4 3000 GT, which is twin turbo, all wheel drive, much cooler, much faster. Um, and so I've been several years wanting that. I'm 23 now, I've wanted it since I was 16. Uh, hopefully today I can actually uh, own one of those. I'm going to go look at one right now. A woman that I work with has it. It's a 93 VR4. And um, I think she's going to give me a pretty good deal on it. It's been sitting for a year, so that's not good, but hopefully it kind of helps me get a better deal on it. Oh my god, guys. He's He's gonna buy his dream car today. He's been waiting for this moment for I'm so shaking. long. He's oh shaking. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. This is just, it's all thanks to it's you guys. It's all thanks to you guys. Yeah. All, all eight subscribers like that I've had for this past week. I mean, <laughs> it's it's really been a ride and I can't thank all of my fans enough. He can't even, he has no words. We're just gonna have to I check can't. back in later. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I can't even handle the excitement. First looks. better than those ones though. <laughs> they have a panty dropper sticker on their car just like I used to. Well, it's got the Jesus fish on there so yeah. I'm sold. This is really all it needs. It doesn't actually need the performance parts or anything, just that sticker. Yeah, the paint is uh, way rougher than I thought. Well, it's definitely in way worse condition than I thought. <laughs> 2000. 20 bucks. I need to really start wearing more than just a hoodie when I come do this shit with you. Yeah, I know. Let's do this thing. Tires are kind of dry, cracked, which is scary. She says she has like. I can literally hear them cracking as I fucking. <laughs> But she said she has like uh, three sets of wheels, so I wonder if any of those sets have tires on them that aren't dry cracked. Definitely uh, plenty of paint blemishes on it. Oh man. I mean, I may just have to buy it, strip it down into a track car. Yeah, I thought it was in really good condition, but it's not. But it's not. Story of your life. Yeah. One tire's not flat. The other one's buried. It needs rescued. It actually needed rescued like three years ago. can't see anything in there. But yeah, Susie is like, knows more about owning cool cars than I do. I mean, she's got this six-speed manual infinity. She owns a VR4. She's owned multiple Mazda RX-7s, as well as some other cars that I think I'm forgetting. So she's pretty much just like a lady tuner chick. It doesn't seem to be leaking anything or it's leaked over the last year that it's been sitting here and it's all leaked out 
but there's no uh, wet puddles under it currently. From what I can see, it's not rusted out real bad. Yeah, it doesn't seem too rusty. <laughs> Alright, so we checked the car out. It's definitely uh, cosmetically a little rougher than I thought it was going to be. Um, the paint's pretty rough. I can tell the interior is pretty rough too. It's not like torn to pieces on the inside, but there's definitely some pretty bad spots. I'm waiting on her to text back. She's not too fast at texting back. And also last night, kind of a key element to the story, she texted me and said, hey, I can't find the key to that car. So hopefully she finds that today so we can actually try to start it and also get inside it, pop the hood, etc. Yeah, so that's where we're at now. I'm just kind of waiting on her to text back. We're waiting in the truck because it's, it's real cold outside. So yeah, hopefully we can actually get inside it and start it and possibly drive it once I get the tires aired up. So I already like KBB'd this thing, but I never even like looked at like the lowest, what do they call that? Value. Condition, the lowest condition. I looked at like uh, good and excellent or something because I thought it was in way better condition. But uh, I'm gonna look that up now as like the lowest one which I think is still fair because they don't value poor condition because there's so many fucking variables so none of AJ's cars would ever be able to be KBB'd accurately even though they're the best <laughs> the they best. don't have a condition good enough for my car <laughs> they have a mental condition but that's about it so what ended up happening that day was I did tell her I was coming to look at it that day and she said that's fine uh, but when that day came and I showed up. She wasn't there. She had to go to the house that they were in the process of moving into. They're doing remodeling and stuff on it. So for whatever reason, she had to go to that house. So she wasn't actually there that day. Um, but her boyfriend was at the house where the car is at. And we did talk to him. Um, he told us a little bit about the car. Uh, the reason it was had been sitting was they said the crankshaft position sensor wire, uh, which runs behind the serpentine belt pulleys, had gotten loose from a clip and rubbed one of the pulleys or the belt and had been rubbed through and therefore the battery uh, was draining from the bare wire grounding out. And they just never got it fixed and it was obviously a hassle. Uh, you couldn't drive it on a daily basis because the battery would die. Um, so yeah, we talked to him for a while. Um, ended up just leaving, going back home. My plan was to go back like the next weekend, but I just never did. I already had seven cars, trucks, and motorcycles at the time, and I really don't have room for an eighth vehicle. So I just kind of put it off. I mean, I wanted the car really bad, but in my mind, I was just like, it's not going anywhere. Like she didn't have it up for sale and it had already been sitting there a year. I really just was like, you know, when I get to it, you know, it'll still be there. Well, this year rolls around and it's like tax season and I kind of talking to her about it. I was like, you still got that car? And she's like, yeah. And she was like, I'm thinking about posting it up for sale just because it's tax season. People have extra money. And I was like, shit, I need to go get that car <laughs> before she posts it and someone else comes and gets it. So told her what day I was going to come get it. We negotiated a price ahead of time. I had already seen the car and everything. So we negotiated a price ahead of time, showed up there with cash, truck, trailer, picked it up I got a good deal on it and I didn't even try to start it at that point it had been sitting at least it'd been sitting over two years so it had two-year-old gas in it and I just wanted to kind of look it over before I tried to start it so I just went there 
Trailer had a winch on it. Just winched it up on the trailer, brought it home, uh, dropped it off the trailer in the driveway. I didn't film any of that, but I did take some pictures of just like loading it up and stuff like that. And um, just some pictures of the car. But I have been filming some of the things I've been doing with the car. Um, just getting it ready to start, you know, draining the gas, stuff like that. Um, so if you stay tuned, you'll see videos of that and hopefully more and more videos messing with the car. It's a great car. It really is mechanically in really good shape. Uh, the paint's a little rough. Interior has some few bad spots and stuff like that. But honestly, it's it's a pretty good condition car for what it is for as old as it is. Uh, I just kind of wanted to clarify what's going on here since there is a little bit of a time gap in between the clips and the videos and everything. But thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos. My pussy. Yep, sorry. <laughs>